I'm Andrea Goethals. My name is Megan Sniffen Marinoff. My name is Wendy Gogol. I'm Tom Roscoe. And I'm working on the Zone 1 Rescue Repository. I mean, the heart of the next generation library is going to be digital content. People everywhere are creating digital data, and this, you know, it wasn't this way with content the library collected in the past. So we have to have new ways to collect and get that content into the library's permanent collections. The um, Zone 1 Rescue Repository is a temporary but secure staging area for digital content. The Zone 1 Rescue Repository is for Harvard students, staff, faculty, anybody at Harvard who has digital content, that there's not an um, obvious place to put this content. Well, I know we think about this as a very contemporary and even future problem, but the first digital image was created in the 1950s, and we've been just increasing all of our cultural uh, digital content since then. A lot of that content is lost. For example, we don't have the first email, um, and there's, there's a lot of early electronic information that we're, we're never going to see again. There's a lot of content at the university that's on portable media. You know, that might be on floppy drives, it might be on disks, it might be on old hard drives just sitting on shelves. There are laptops, there are hard drives, there are all different kinds of disks. There are things stored locally in the office, there are things stored on servers. Um, old audio tapes, old uh, videotapes, discovering that they have five different email accounts in five different systems. There are things stored, you know, in other places if they're working and they have research in sort of a consortial effort, trying to, you know, understand where this material exists and what type of data is out there. And because there's not an obvious place to put this content, it, it really is at risk of being lost. We really do have almost 400 years worth of this kind of material in the archives that is used to study the history of a discipline. Um, the history of Harvard's role um, in some aspect of development. We think that it's um, at a place like Harvard where we know that there's a lot of this stuff that we really should have some sort of organized um, service for being able to pull content off of this old media and get into safer places where people can actually see what the content is and make use of the content. A typical user might be a researcher. For example, a Harvard botanist who is on a collecting expedition in Asia. Um, they may be uh, taking photographs, collecting plant specimens, and um, they need a place to store the photographs, the inventory of the plant specimens, and maybe the GIS data from their trip. Then they can organize all of that data, um, review it, and package it up to send it to maybe uh, one of the international botanical databases. Right now we're, um, we are in the sort of um, surveying and uh, gathering data uh, part of the project. We have a prototype of the tool that we're using, uh, it's sort of a, an analytical tool to capture that information. Um, and we are, uh, Harvard has interviewed a few um, faculty already. We're scheduled to inter a few, uh, interview a few at Harvard, I mean at uh, MIT. And um, so that's, we're sort of in that data gathering step. The zone one part, the rescue repository part, is also in development and we've done all the specifications and requirements and that's being developed and should, you know, we should have a prototype of that soon. Um, and then the third step is sort of getting together and sort of analyzing the data and, and the requirements in the system and how it works and figuring out different uh, policy issues or uh, restricting restrictions and um, just the sort of how the requirements to you know, make it sort of take it to the next level. We need to work with IT, we need to work with the legal department, you know, we can go down the list of people who need to be involved and they all need to be on board and they all need to think it's important in order for this to happen and I think the kinds of conversations that we've been having at Harvard um, in particular uh, that is furthering collaboration across the university has really, I think, sparked an interest in following through, you know, and really making this happen.